all eyes are on New Orleans. It's a beautiful shot now, but they're watching the swollen Mississippi River as Tropical Storm Barry makes a beeline to the Gulf Coast. Storm Team 4's Dave Price is tracking it. Dave, what is the latest? Well, we've got the latest advisory, which is now up wind speeds and, of course, storm surge across Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, the storm probably now moving to the west of New Orleans, which would put New Orleans itself in the strongest quadrant, the northeast quadrant. So let's go through it now as we take a look at this storm continuing to gain strength in the Gulf, in the warm waters of the Gulf, which are between 88 and 90 degrees. It brings it onshore roughly Saturday morning in the uh, early morning hours, anytime between, let's say, 6 and 9 o'clock, with wind speeds at a minimal category one level. But it's not about the winds. This is going to be about rain and storm surge. And as you can see, we can see upwards of uh, anywhere from 12 to 24 inches of rain through some parts of the area. There's an economic impact as well. 53% of Gulf oil production halted, 191 platforms already evacuated, and 11 rigs moved off location. We'll hear more about this clearly, and we'll see those results at the pumps, but we'll talk about that later in the broadcast, along with your full 10-day forecast. Right now, back to you. 12 to 24 inches of water, Dave. People who live in New Orleans and the surrounding parishes stocking up on sandbags and supplies as that storm turns off the Louisiana coast. And the slow movement, as Dave indicated, not good. That means it's going to bring a lot of rain. NBC's Wendy Wolfuck is in New Orleans right now. Wendy. David, you're exactly right. The winds are picking up here in New Orleans, but it's the water that is causing the biggest concern. As Tropical Storm Barry creeps inland, anxiety rising in Louisiana. I'm nervous about the water that's going to come in. I'm nervous because of the river so high and then we get in this water that's pushing in. More than a foot and a half of rain set to drench parts of the state, adding to an already swollen Mississippi River and poised to test post-Katrina flood defenses in New Orleans. I've never seen it this high. I really haven't ever seen it this high, and so it's a little scary. Now crews are moving sandbags in, and overnight, thousands of Louisiana residents moving out, many under mandatory evacuation orders. We're getting ready to pull out, so I got my family all packed up, uh, got, a, got a camper loaded. The Red Cross is on guard, gathering supplies and mobilizing volunteers. They're packaging things up in our trailers just to make sure that everything is in um, close proximity to where it may be needed. For now, coastal communities are keeping a close eye on Barry's predicted path and working together to prepare for the worst. You're only as good as your neighbor. So when your neighbor needs help, you're gonna try and help them as much as you can before you take care of yourself. Time running short to flee to higher ground or hunker down. This area truly facing a triple threat this afternoon, a triple threat of rain, flooding and storm surge. Forecasters still though believe that Barry will make landfall in some capacity early tomorrow morning. That's the latest here in New Orleans. I'm Wendy Wolfolk. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.